Hello, everybody. Welcome back. This is Tinker77, and I am once again on my survival multiplayer Patreon server. This is episode one, and today we're going to do something a little bit different than you usually see. If you recall, I showed you episode zero recently, which was some streams that we did when the server had to be reset because I made a mistake. Yep, I made a mistake, and the server that we had got destroyed, so I had to get up another one really quick, and all the Patreons started to make their own bases here. And so we are here right now. Now, it's going to be nighttime, so I probably should sleep. And while I'm sleeping, I'm going to talk to you for a couple seconds here. What I'm going to do is, even though I've set up a little house here and some things, I want to start out my series brand new. I really want to start it out and share it with you, the viewers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all of my stuff and put it in this chest. Okay, everything, everything, everything. Let's take off the armor too and the elytra. And what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do is I'm going to log out. I am going to stop the server and I'm going to delete my data files. All of my data files. So then when we respawn, we should respawn back at the spawn point and I can restart with you. And then once we get to a point where I think where I'm at the equivalent of what I'm at right now with what you see here, we can come back and get this stuff. But I'd like to start off just as I would for a series. We're gonna do that right now. So, um, here we go. And here we are, I'm brand new. Wow, look at this. All right, we're gonna go and check this out really quick. We're gonna go cut down a tree on our way. Gonna punch a tree, I should say cut down, because we don't have any tools. We're gonna punch a tree, and then we should get the recipes that say, uh, you just got a new thing when you get like birch or whatever. And that should be good to tell us that we've done everything right. Because you don't notice I don't have any level or experience right now, and that's good. So if we do this, Okay, and if I take that and make some birch planks, there we go, we get new recipes unlocked. So that means that I definitely have not done anything with this. That's awesome. Okay, let's get that done there. Let's get some more of this wood. Now, what we're gonna do right now is I want to go to, yes, the place that I have made for my starter base and the base that I want to work with. Uh, I'm not gonna be over in the starter town, which is kind of over there. You can kind of see the outline of something. I think that's Thomas's house. And we've already have the house over there. You know that from the beginning of this episode. But we're going to go onward to see if we can find um, the base that I want. I've got some coordinates, and I'm going to start to head that way. Hopefully, we get there before it gets dark, but we will see. There's a sheep here. I want to make sure that I can get some uh, stuff from the sheep. So I'm going to make, I think, let's make a sword really quick here. And we're going to kill some sheep. Hopefully, we get enough that we can make a bed. That's kind of important for us on this trip in case it gets dark. So let's see what we can get here. I should make an axe too, but there's multiple sheep, so it should be good here. Okay, and we got some food out of that too. Where's some more sheep? They were right here, weren't they? There it is. There's the sheep. Okay, I need some wool. Okay, we got two pieces of wool. Hopefully, we'll see some more sheep. Usually, they're spawning four packs of four. I don't know. I don't see any other sheep. So I'm gonna. Is there one over there? Nope. Okay, I want to keep on going here. Hello, sheep. There we go. Awesome. So now I should have the stuff to make a bed. Now I do have some of these uh, lilacs and peons. Peonies? Is that which one? Which one do I want? I think it's the lilac. Can we get this? And can we get the uh, material out of that? And can we make some wool? Magenta wool. We're going to make a magenta bed. I could get more of this lilacs later. That's fine. I just rather have not have the straight standard old white bed. So there we go. We have a magenta bed. Now we have this. We can travel with that. Why don't we make some uh, an axe, like I said, so at least I can cut down some things on the way. There we go. Okay. Hey, Piggy. Yeah, Piggy's dead. And your friends, too. Got to get them all. We need some food anyway, so this will help us if we're on our way. Uh, we can get some food. Okay, see you at the camp. And this is where I'm going to call home. I've got a nice little corner here. That's pretty cool. And just over the way here, there is a village. I think you can see it from over here. There's a village that we can use. And I want to do things with villagers because I haven't really done that in any of my survival worlds. So that's going to be a lot of fun. So I think what I'm going to do here is I want to make into this little section right here, make some sort of a base really quick, some sort of structure that's inside of the dirt there over there and clear some of this out so we have some space and maybe get a farm. So let me, uh, yeah, let's go and clear this all out right now.
Okay, that looks a lot clearer to me. We're going to get a lot of these drops from the leaves, and it'll be a lot nicer. And we're going to start to dig in here. It's going to get dark. We're going to sleep outside for tonight. But uh, I'm going to dig in here. We're going to see what we can do here to make a little bit of a base. It's not much, but it's home. This is awesome. So it's so much fun starting out a new world. So I've got a basic setup here. I've got some uh, furnaces, which I'm trying to get some charcoal here. I should really keep that going. And we have a crafting table and our chest here that we got some things to do. I'm going to cook up this food, I think, next. And then what I want to do is I want to start to get some stone tools. Actually, I can get the stone tools now while I'm waiting. Let's do that. Oh, didn't mean to throw that out. There, I derped again. Let's get all stone tools. At least get us out of this wood stuff. We can also use the wood stuff to cook up there. Um, and that way we don't have to have it with us anymore because we don't need it, right? So let's get an axe. There we go. And a shovel. And let's make ourselves a sword like that. Okay, so we got all those tools there. So let's, instead of burning this, let's uh, burn that. <laughs> that way, at least we get some, get those burned up. Um, they can be used as a fuel source, which would be really great. We don't need them anymore. So now, I think what I want to do, I want to do a little bit of mining. I want to see what I can find anything really quick. We got to get some armor, and I want to get some iron armor if I can. Trying to find a cave. Found some coal. You never, like, realize when you've been playing for a while where you have a lot of resources already available to you how much coal is important and how, how it's good to have. And, uh... You, you kind of skip it after a while because you don't think about it anymore because you've got other sources of things for fuel and things. But uh, here in the early game, you got to have coal. So this is is this kind of fantastic just to find this. Look, we're already level five. This is excellent. I want to keep on looking around. Hopefully, I find a cave is what I'm looking for. I don't want to actually dig my true mine shaft yet. I want to find a cave and see if I can just go around and get some ores really fast. Although not really a cave, there is iron over here. So at least we can get some iron. Um... I really need a bucket, I think, first. I think you should have a bucket, so at least you can get rid of lava if you go down deep. But we might have enough here. Let's see, we have enough for five. It's not enough for a bucket and an iron pick, and I really would like to have an iron pick before I go deep, because I will find things like redstone and things like that that I really want to have, and maybe even diamonds. So, we're going to look around just for a little bit longer before I head back. I'll take these pumpkins. That's going to be good for us for some starting farms. I like that. Oh no, I see a creeper. I see a creeper. I don't have any armor. This could be bad. I only have a stone sword, too. Yes. Awesome. Okay. So I found this, like, little bit of a cave. It's not going very deep, but I'm trying to light it up. and see what I can see here. I heard a cat. We're right below the village. Um, that could be dangerous right there. But let's see if we can find anything else here. Um, that could be worthwhile. There's some iron. That's what we want to see. I'm hearing some sounds. Anybody coming? I don't know. I don't see anybody. Okay, let's get this iron real quick. Because that'll give us enough to get an iron pick and a bucket, which is what I want for right now. Uh, we're going to have to head down in a little bit, I think. Here we go. This could be bad. Woo! Got a skelly. I just love finding caves that have dead ends. Something that I've lit all the way up and I can go gather all the resources like the iron and stuff that's been here. We're pretty much sure we're not going to get hit by any monsters, which is excellent. Well, look at me. I have iron armor. Oop, that's a torch. I have all my iron armor on, and I was able to make an iron pick and a bucket. So I think we're doing really good for starting out here. What I want to do now, though, is I think I want to uh, decorate this place. Because this place is kind of, uh, kind of, uh, icky. Is that a word? Icky? Is that a word? I think that's a word. Anyway, uh, you can see out here, it's just a, like a little tunnel here and what i want to do is try to make this look a little bit better uh make it look more like a home so this area can be uh what i want to be look like you know um i might put out a little bit of farms and things but i'm just going to spend some time now uh off camera trying to make this look a lot better hopefully when i come back you will think it looks better too well i've done a lot of work here getting the base looking right this is kind of like a little farm area i've got some pumpkins and some sugar cane and of course wheat look at that the pumpkin just grew right there that pumpkin so anyway, I put up a little bit of a thing where this pond was and kind of terraformed just a little bit to make it look what I want, look how I want. I have a, a composter here, which I have been using to make some uh, bone meal and stuff like that. Over here, I've got a little bit of a tree farm, as you can see. I'm doing some oak and, of course, birch, although I'm in a birch forest. I really don't need to do that, but at least I have one place where it's all located. So I'm not tearing down the uh, trees where they are currently. I have four little areas here for animals. I've got cows, sheep, pigs, and chickens. 
Uh, the chickens keep doing me laying eggs and, you know, I keep taking them. Now, my goal is here with all these cows, you can see I've got a lot more of them, is I want to make um, steak be kind of like my main meal of choice in the future. So I really want to get to like a critical mass of cows and then can work on a cow farm cooking station thing in the uh, next couple episodes. So that's something that's going on here. Now, the base, the base, here is the base so far. I've done no decorating really out here at all. And I plan on doing that uh, in a little while. You can see I've kind of made it so it's like, like inside of the hill here. Um, you can see out with the windows. Um, and I've made a little storage area. Some of the more uh, lesser common things are going to be in the in the barrels, and we have big things in the uh, chests over here. Okay, on this side is a room, and again, everything in here is not decorated yet, just kind of placeholders. Um, but this is going to be where I'm going to put an enchanting area, and we're going to work on that in a little bit. But to do that, as you know, we need to get some obsidian and we need some diamonds, and so we're going to go mining here in just a little bit. Uh, over here, I want to have the nether portal, which again, we need obsidian, which takes diamonds. So that's another reason to go mining. And then we've got a little cubby hole here. And this is where I'm going to put uh, like a little bed area for sleeping. But uh, I don't have the floor done yet or the walls yet. But I thought I would try to go out right now and do some mining because I think it's necessary. So I don't know where I'm going to do this. Um, should I maybe do a, a straight down drill? Or should I do like a, a stairway going down to a mine? The stairway seems to be the easiest thing to do. So maybe we should do do that. What do you guys think? I think that's probably the best thing. So where are we going to start this mine here? Um, let's think here. Like right here looks like a good spot. Right in here. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to mine down to layer 11. And we're going to see if we can get some diamonds. Okay. This makes me happy. We have redstone. Finally, we have redstone, which means we can start to make some inventions and some neat little gadgets that can do lots of things. But I'm going to get all this right now. Awesome. I am very happy. But we still need to get down here and start mining and finding diamonds. I just got down to the base here. So, I mean, it's looking good. But, yeah, got to find diamonds. And look at this. I found some gold. I haven't even started mining really truly yet. I'm just building out this room down here at the base of the stairs, and I found gold. So this is awesome. We're doing really well. But, again, I haven't started mining, so... Uh, we're going to start mining here in just a second. Okay, I'm at the bottom of the stairs, and I got two starter tunnels. I'm going to go here, and I'm going to go here. I'm going to go 30 minutes each way and see what I can get. If I find anything good or get any, like, drama from, you know, those pesky creepers, well, we'll uh, record that so you can see it. But I'm going to start to head off here and see what I can get. So see you on the other side. Yes! Yes! I found some diamonds! Oh, how many is it? There's one. I need three, right? Two. Oh, good. Okay. So, oh, good. This is very good. Very, 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 very good. Okay, so let's just make sure there's nothing around here. Because that looked like it might have been more than an eight one. Because it was oddly shaped. Let's double check. Anything else? I'm not seeing anything else, but I hear monsters. But that's what we needed because that will get us a diamond pick. I'm going to make that right now. Right here. Yes, that's right. I'm going to do it right now. So let's do it. Uh, there we go. And... There we go. Awesome. We got our diamond pick. So now I can start to get this stuff here, the obsidian, and we can actually go and get our enchanting table and maybe enchant this stuff up. So I think I'm going to stop the mining session. You see what I got here. I got some redstone and some other things, you know, some gold and some iron and stuff. But getting this diamond pick and getting some diamonds is critical. So I'm going to head on back up to the base after I get some obsidian, of course. Okay, we're gonna do this. We're gonna make the enchanting table, and I believe the recipe was two diamonds and a book. And there, that is awesome. Okay, now that we have that, we need to get some bookcases. And bookcases, I believe, was was just that with uh, something like this, right? Yes. And it looks like we're gonna be able to make 10 of the bookcases that we need. So we still need a little bit more, but let's get this set up here. Um, I want to get a full enchanting station before I use. We're going to have to make some more books. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And the way I usually do it is I have a, in here is where my, um, um, wow, ender chest will go. And on the ends here, we'll have the other things. But then in the center here is the enchanting station. And there we are. We have that set up. Now, of course, I'm going to decorate this room a little bit more, but it's looking really good so far. Now, because we had 10 of these, I need to get some more materials to make some more of this. Yeah, well, why did it make 10? Why did it make 11? 
if I do that, uh, like that. Okay, so we got 11 of them. So I need to make four more bookcases, and we can do that pretty darn quick because we have a lot of paper, and we do have some leather. So I think I just need to go get some more leather for my cows and stuff, and we're going to be done with that station really quick. And there we are. I've got all the books. So let's see what we can get here with this diamond pickaxe, okay? We're going to put it in here, and I'm breaking one. Silk, ooh, silk touch. Oh, 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 fortune three, fortune three. I gotta get level 30 though. I'm only level 24. So we're gonna have to grind out some experience here. Um, one way to do that is to go to the nether. I think what I'm gonna do here is set up this area. I was talking about that. Basically the portal will go here. It'll be a three by three portal. So I think I'm gonna go down and get some more of the obsidian and we're gonna go into the nether next. Mining obsidian with an unenchanted diamond pickaxe is so, so slow. Well, here it goes. And of course I goofed that up. <laughs> okay, the portal's built. I'm gonna use a trigger here that we have on the server. It's like a trigger. And I'm gonna say, what is it in the overworld? And this coordinates here, I just completely messed that up. There we go, in the overworld. And it says that those are the coordinates there that I need to make another portal. So if it doesn't make one itself, I will have to make it at that location. Okay, here we go. We're gonna light this up and I'm gonna go through. Based on this, it looks like I have come out at Thomas's beta site, his beta base, which uh, it's good and it's bad. It means that this doesn't link up to my portal, which means I'm gonna have to travel um, over to where it is to build one and I don't have the materials to build one. So we'll have to travel back here and then through the overworld to our base. But uh, anyway, we're gonna go out here. We're gonna try to get some quartz because that's why we're here. And hopefully we can uh, get some quartz and get some experience so we get some levels. Um, there's lots of stuff around here you can see. Hmm, looks like he's mined a lot of it already, but there's some glowstone too. That'd be good to get, right? So uh, yeah, I'm gonna go mining a little bit. Let's see what I can do. While I'm mining this uh, quartz out, I wanna tell you about the nether here. Uh, because of the 116 release, that is gonna be the nether update that should be out sometime. Uh, we have decided on the server here, the Patreon server, that we are not going to really do much with the nether. Pretty much not make any big builds or anything because we are going to reset it when the 116 comes out. Really, it just takes a matter of seconds to reset the nether because you just delete the files that are, that are for that particular area and uh, it'll be all reset. So that's what we're going to do. So anything I do here really doesn't matter. So we're just going to try to get as much as we can and uh, get all this uh, resources. Already up to 25 and a half. We got to get to 30. I spy another fortress. This could be something that could be useful. We're not going to go for it today, though. We're going to try to get enough experience, right? So uh, we're trying to make sure there's no lava around, and we're going to get all of these. Hopefully, we'll get to a level here really quick. I'm really close right now to getting to 30, and as soon as I get to 30, I want to get out of here and get back to base. So will this do it? Almost. We need, like, one more piece of quartz. Is there any quartz, like, right here really quick? Uh, anything? 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 There's some right over there. We'll go get that. That'll be nice, and then we're gonna be able to go back. Now, I gotta find my way back because I've kind of been walking around uh, getting various resources like this, and I don't know quite where the portal is. So we got to do and find it here in just a second. Ooh, do I risk it? Do I risk pulling those two wither skeletons? Maybe getting some wither skeleton heads? Do I risk my levels? Yes. No, yes, yes. Let's see if I can pull any of them down here. There's no lava around here, so it shouldn't be that bad. Um, I put a little bit of a, oh, he sees me. That's okay. I'm gonna see if I can put like a little bit of a barrier here. Maybe they, I can get under that and they can't get to me. Maybe. That's what we're gonna try to do anyway. Okay. Oh, that scared me. Okay, okay, hi. Hi. Give me your skull, give me your skull. That's not a skull. It's. Like my oh, oh hi and you too here we go and you're gonna have to come up here and i want your skull is it worth it no okay well we tried but at least we know that we can get those and they're really close okay where is this portal there's that there's that uh, cobblestone up there so this probably means this portal's over there i found it i found it so now we gotta just gotta get in here and we gotta get through here the portal and uh Run from Thomas's base back to my base. I have two bones. Can we get a dog? Can we get a dog here? Be my friend. Aww. This is the weirdest place to have a farm. 
Dude, do you know how precarious it is? Look at this. It's like over top of... And look, there's a path all the way down there. There's a tree and a path for this village. Dude, you are in trouble. Yeah, if he pushes you off, you're done. You're done. Don't do it. Don't do it. Please don't do it. Okay, I'm going to see you later. I'm going to go back to my base, okay? Okay? <laughs> I have arrived back at my base. This is excellent. So let's get this thing enchanted. I've got my 30 levels. We're going to get out some of our uh, lapis that we found. And we're going to use this right now. And let's see if we get anything else. Remember, we got Fortune 3, right? What else do we get? <laughs> Just Fortune 3. That's not bad. But you can already see we've taken a lot of durability on this uh, pickaxe. So we're going to have to get some uh, enchants for that if we can. Or maybe make some more of other... And chance through here and maybe get something combine them. I don't know what to see. So anyway, guys, I think this is a good start for episode one. I think we've done a lot today. And I've got some plans for this uh, series, this season, if you will. So um, hopefully you'll stick around and enjoy what you see. If you like today's video, please click that like button. If you have any comments, put them down in the comment section. And if you would like to be notified of the videos that I produce, please subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon so you get all the notifications, okay? Thanks, guys. Have a great day. Bye-bye.